guys, welcome, thanks for joining me. Today I am doing the long-awaited Charlotte Tilbury makeup haul. Now a little backstory about Charlotte Tilbury and how I discovered her and her brand. I was actually, I'm really, really into Goss, uh, Wayne Goss, Goss makeup artist, uh, Lisa Eldridge and um, who else? But Charlotte Tilbury. I've been watching their videos nonstop. So if you were to ask me who my favorite YouTubers are, <laughs> I feel weird calling them YouTubers. I guess they are because they do YouTube videos, but you know, they are professional makeup artists and these are people that I have been learning so much from. I asked you guys on Facebook and Twitter as well if you guys ever heard of Charlotte Tilbury because if you're like me, you're completely new to that. And I went online and I asked you guys, what are your favorite products? Because when I first searched it online, I was like, damn. This is really expensive. This is like luxury cosmetics. Like this is a little treat that you give yourself for working really hard. I decided to go into Nordstrom at the Grove in LA and purchase the stuff that I really like from Charlotte Tilbury. So this is why I'm doing the haul. Now, just so you know, if you live in Southern California, the only place where you can find Charlotte Tilbury makeup at an actual store is at the Nordstrom at the Grove. And they are gonna open up another store from what I was um, told at the South Coast Plaza in Orange County. So with that, that being said guys let me show you what I bought and I'm gonna also tell you the stuff that you can skip out and the stuff that it's like amazing that you need to grab first and foremost I'm gonna start off with the lip combo the reason I'm starting with the lip combo is because if you guys saw the Today Show um, on Sunday for Viva Today I actually made a little guest appearance and I did my own makeup that day and if you guys are wondering if you go to Instagram I also posted a picture of the makeup that I did on myself that day and the lip color beautiful beautiful lip color and I ended up using the lip liner in lip cheat and this is pillow talk which is a pinky tone neutral color and also I topped it off with the KISS ING lipstick and bitch perfect oh, that's the little combo that I have I'll give you guys close-ups. If you go to my blog, I also have swatches and stuff like that. So this lip liner is called Iconic Nude, and it's another beautiful shade. I'm actually wearing Iconic Nude at the bottom. Now, the way that she designed and picked out the colors is also because she said in one of her makeup tutorials that she wanted her lip liners to just really blend in with the lip. It shouldn't be like a harsh, of course she has her reds, um, darker colors, but she wanted her neutral colors to just blend in with your natural lips so you don't really see where it starts or it, where it ends. Colors that I ended up getting, Velvet Underground, which is this one. It's a pink. The next color is called Coachella Coral. I should have taken this to Coachella. It's Coachella Coral. And this is, of course, a coral. Great for spring and summer. And then I also ended up getting Penelope Pink, which is also another beautiful. This is actually more of a nudish pink. So if you're going to get any lip liners and lipsticks, definitely get a Pillow Talk and Iconic Nude. And for lipsticks, get the Penelope Pink and Bitch Perfect. Those are definitely my highly recommended four products that I have here. Now I've got some lip glosses because you just gotta get some lip glosses and she has some beautiful pinks and nudes. So these are the colors that I ended up getting. All of these colors. The one that really stood out was actually this one which is called Unleash Me. Believe it or not guys, a deep wine, a burgundy lip is actually very popular for spring and summer but it's not in the typical way that we usually expect it to be which is very opaque and just it stands out. This is more of a clear um, more of a see-through glossy look so it's more about layer upon layer of a lip gloss in this color and you sort of have the dark lip but you see the you kind of see through it if you know what I mean just like a gloss not an opaque gloss a see-through gloss if that makes any sense if I, hopefully I'm explaining that part right but if you want to try that out that's why I got this color and then I got this beautiful pink with a little bit of diamonds it doesn't have a color in here but it has this gorgeous uh, very subtle shimmer. The other ones don't have any shimmer at all, but these are great everyday colors. We have Sweet Stiletto, which is one that I highly recommend. And then you have High Society, which is another one that I recommend, which is more of a mauve pink. And then you have your classic nude, which is called Seduction. So all of them gorgeous, gorgeous lip glosses. I ended up getting a palette that when I swatched it at the store, I was completely just sold. It's beautiful. But when I put it on myself, like on my eyes, I just, I wasn't that impressed 
Like it just didn't look that great on me to be honest. But the palette that I'm talking about is called the Dolce Vita palette. It's actually a quad and it has you know obviously your highlight your contour your base shade and then it has this color on the left set left hand corner um, and it's the the color that gives you a pop to your eyes that so you add that in the center and it just really makes your eyes pop the color is beautiful it's like a, a bronzy shade it's highly pigmented and it's thicker the formula it's more of a glitter actually the other ones are very soft very uh, they feel like silk you know, very easy to blend as far as a formula. The other quad that I got is called the Uptown Girl. And you have this beautiful color here, which is um, like the shimmery color that just makes your eyes pop. You can, oh, see, this is definitely, this is glittery. I was gonna add this as a highlight, but it's a little too thick, but it's gorgeous. It kind of reminds me of um, one of the eyeshadows from the Cinderella collection from MAC actually, that one individual color. So that's the other palette. I haven't even done an eye look with this one guys, so we'll see how this one goes. Uh, the next thing that I got in here is also something very cool. This is the Spy Who Loved Me, a cream shadow for the eyes and a dewy blush for lips and cheeks. Apply with fingers and blend. So this is a very easy on the go little duo. Comes like this, let me show you. Comes like this. You open it up, you have your mirror, and then here you have your little duo. This is by far my favorite duo that I saw. The top one is the actual lipstick, or the lip color, and you can also put that on your cheeks. And then this one, it's also very, very gorgeous, and I like that it's just a on-the-go product because you can just swipe it on your lid, go, it's not gonna crease, it's gonna last all day, the formula is beautiful, the color is just everyday wearable. This is another product that I do recommend for you guys. So now I have the next product. This is the Filmstart Bronze and Glow Face Sculpt and Highlight. The bronzer itself is very, very subtle. So like I said, this is just going to enhance the contours of your face. This is not gonna give you that full beat down, you know, when you want extreme contour. For me, I feel like right now for my skin color, it's looking a little dirty. It doesn't give me that natural, beautiful glow, this, this specific color of bronzer. So um, the highlight, it's a gorgeous champagne. This one looks amazing on my skin. I love the way it looks. But the bronzer itself, oh, I really wanted to use this. Hopefully, probably when I get a little bit darker, when the sun starts coming out more, um, this might look better on me. But for now, I've just been noticing that it looks a little on the dirty side, you know? The last makeup product that I ended up getting is the Cheek to Chic. It's a little compact. It's a Swish and Pop Blusher in Love Glow. And you have the outer shade for the cheekbone, which is the highlight. And then you have the center shade, which is the blush. Just gives you a little pop here. This is really beautiful. Let me try out the blush, even though I already have blush. I mean, all you need is a little bit. The formulas, all of them, so easy to blend, guys. So easy to blend. And that's gorgeous, but it's not like, woo, you guys need it. You know what I mean? Maybe you do if you want it, but... Oh my gosh, this champagne highlight is gorgeous. Okay. So now moving on, I have four more products and these fall into the body aspect, beauty products. Okay, so now this is the splurge item. This is the one item that I was like, I need this in my life. This is called Charlotte's Magic Cream Treat and Transform Moisturizer. So comes in a container like this. I'm gonna tell you guys up front, this is $100. If you want to try it out yourself, they actually give out samples and the samples are, they're pretty nice size. So you can actually test it out yourself because this is definitely like a little treat. With that being said, you know, I'm barely testing it out. I love that it's moisturizing. Uh, it feels silky. It's also hydrating and it smells delicious. Those are my first initial uh, responses to that. It really does smell delicious and it's pretty thick. You know, but it's not like thick like the La Mer facial cream. That one is so thick you can't even blend it. This actually blends into your face. Charlotte said she created this because models backstage during fashion week, 
they would go from show to show and their skin just sort of took a toll because of all the pressure. Maybe they weren't hydrating themselves properly or they weren't getting enough rest. So she created the magic cream to just rejuvenate and transform the look of their uh, tired skin. So I was like, okay, I'm going to try that one out. That one's amazing. So far, so good. Okay, I have two that I want to recommend as well. Coming up, this one. This is Supermodel Body Shimmer Shimmer. Slimmer Shimmer, Shape, Hydrate, and Glow. This stuff is awesome. I've already been using this. It's amazing. This is another product that I want to recommend. Okay, first of all, you open it up like this. It's just a highlight, a beautiful bronzy highlight. It has a little roller here, and to turn it on, you just go on. It has a little arrow. Squeeze it out. Some product comes out through here. You take this roller and you put it down the the center of your thigh, skip your knees, and then go down down your leg, down in the middle of your leg. You can also do this here on your arm. What that's going to do, it's going to highlight. Not only does it give you a beautiful glowing look to the skin, but also when the light hits the highlight, it's going to reflect it and it's going to make your thighs and your arms look a lot slimmer. So it's all an optical illusion. This stuff is amazing. Um, and then the next one, I also got another highlight. This is the Wonder Glow. It's Instant Soft Focus Beauty Flash. Now, I actually got this because it says that you can turn around tired, dull skin in a beauty flash. So a lot of these products are also like instant results, you know, and I think that's something we as women love in cosmetics and just uh, beauty products. So I ended up getting this because I've been traveling a lot, thank you Lord, a lot this year. And I, I know sometimes my skin looks dull, tired, just you know, from like the same thing, the lack of hydration, the stress of packing and all that good stuff. But I ended up getting this just to try it out and mix it with my foundation. Oops, excuse me, I'm gonna sneeze. Um, so yeah, I ended up getting this to mix it with my foundation and it just adds a beautiful, beautiful glow to your foundation, especially if you have a matte one. Uh, I've been using this with the MAC Pro Longwear Foundation, which I haven't really been liking by itself. I've been adding it with either um, oil drops or a product like this one just to give it more of a flexibility so it's not so matte and super full coverage, you know what I mean? It gives you the coverage, but now you can add more of a glow to your skin. And I also like to use this to just add it to my uh, shoulders just to sort of illuminate the skin and also on your neck and your decolletage. So that's what I love. Another product that I recommend. And I also got a free makeup bag as a little gift. So yeah, guys, that completes my Charlotte Tilbury makeup haul. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you've tried anything out before, I would love to know your favorite Charlotte Tilbury makeup products. And if you want to see a look, either with the Dolce Vita palette or the Uptown Girl, I could definitely do a tutorial using these um, and everything else that I have in here. And also these brushes that I just ordered from Artis. Awesome makeup brushes. Yep, they look like hair brushes, right? These are makeup brushes, guys. You have for the eyes. I've been wanting to try this out, so maybe I can incorporate them all into one video. And yeah, thank you for watching, guys. I hope to see you again on my next video, and I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend or day, whatever day it is that you're watching this video. Thank you so much, guys. I love you, and have a wonderful, blessed day. And until next time, bye.